This is David Marler, UFO researcher, and you're listening to That UFO Podcast. That UFO Podcast is powered by Zencaster. Zencaster is one of the world's leading platforms for recording and hosting podcasts. The open beta strives to put the power of studio quality remote video production into the hands of anyone with a story to tell. Features include HD video recording, studio quality sound, chat and footnotes. All running right from your browser so you can record from anywhere without ever installing anything. Check out the links in the show description to find out more. Hi everyone and welcome back to That UFO Podcast. This is your September preview pod, Andy here, with all the rundown on shows and guests coming up this month. This also serves as a handy reminder as to who I am actually meant to be speaking to. I've updated my little board in the shed, so I know the guests are going to be this month. Thanks to everyone for listening in August, whether you were downloading, watching, sharing, supporting and engaging, it always means a lot and is very much appreciated. And again, thanks to all those who reach out via DMs, private messages, uh, whichever your pr- uh, chosen method is, even email to say they've listened for, for two and a half years now. My God, the, the podcast's almost been going and uh, they're finally just getting in touch to say hi, which is always good. So if you've never reached out and you've been listening for quite a while, get in touch and say hello. It is uh, appreciated and nice to speak to everyone. Hot off the press, I've not even announced this online yet. Uh, today, Friday the 2nd of September, I have a special interview slash update with Ben Hansen. Ben Hansen is a researcher and presenter on Discovery who just a few days ago released new video and data uh, backed evidence of a retired F-18 pilot's encounter with UFOs off the coast of the Channel Islands of Santa Barbara. I've only got 30 minutes with Ben, but I got this booked in very last minute through his people. Um, I'll have it out on Monday for all to hear, but of course it'll be up early access as early access early access this weekend with no adverts no sponsors and um, so why not join the pod on a membership early in the month from as little as one pound one dollar whatever your currency is that's less than the price of a good coffee but otherwise it'll be out on monday for everyone to listen to and i look forward to speaking to ben also this evening i am recording before that with dr lynn katai a new deep dive on the Phoenix Lights event 25 years on. This is one that still endures with a real myth and lore behind it as well and a lot of unanswered questions. Uh, the Wilson Davis deep dive two months ago with Joe Murgia was very popular. We laid it out start to finish, the basics of the, the documents and we're going to do that with the Phoenix Lights event. We're going to go through the timeline of the event, what happened, the fallout and then to this day why there are still so many unanswered questions around it and lots of you have sent in your theories as as well, so look forward to discussing those. Dr. Katai has researched this one thoroughly now for decades. You can check out the phoenixlights.net, the phoenixlights.net, for all her info, documentaries, and research on the event. Uh, really looking forward to laying this one out. As you know, it's a personal favourite event of mine. Sorry if you hear the, the motorbike going by in the background there. It's not mine, just uh, a recording a shed on a street. So, yeah, it's it's just people. Just confirmed, James Iandoli and J. Christopher King will be joining me to talk about their conference, An Inquiry into Anomalous Experiences and the Phenomenon, which is in New York City, planned for Saturday 8th of October. It's going to be streamed live for $25 to $30. Folks should use Early Bird as a code for the $25 rate. Link for the conference is in the description. Guests include Dr. Gary Nolan, Ralph Blumenthal, New York Times journalist, uh, and he both of those have been on the podcast, Darren from the Excellent Exo Academia podcast, and Dr. Tim Grieve Carlson. Um, it's excellent quality and value all round for that event. Those two gents, uh, Jay and James, will be joining me to talk about the conference, its setup, and more. Both experts in their own right and have been guests on the pod before, so get your questions over on the conference, CE5, experiencers, and anything else to UFO, UAP, AM at gmail.com. Did you know that podcast advertising is way more effective than display advertising? With 67% of listeners remembering brands and 63% making a purchase after hearing them. Whether you want to diversify your ad spend, add a new marketing stream or test out podcast ads, Zencaster's creator network makes it easy for brands to connect with podcasters. Zencaster's mission is to make podcast advertisements as easy and accessible to business owners as Google or Facebook. 
Host read ads like this are the most effective form of podcast advertising. Zencaster works with podcasters to help create unique to them ad spots that create brand awareness and conversion. Zencaster's creator network is the perfect place for you to get into podcast ads and sponsor your favorite creators like me. I've worked with Zencaster now for some time and they truly put the content creators and the listeners at the heart of what they do. As a huge fan of podcasts myself, and I really mean that, I love podcasts, I often buy products or services that I find useful to me based on those pods that I'm listening to. It supports them and there's usually a good discount to go along with it. So if you're interested in sponsoring this show or another podcast with adverts for your business, go to zen.ai forward slash that UFO pod one that's the number one, or click the link in the description and fill out the contact information so Zencaster can help you bring your business story to life. Then Whitley Streber is up on the podcast to discuss his story and ongoing experience with non-human intelligence. His story was famously told in his book Communion, of which there's also a feature film. I'm excited to finally speak to Whitley and you may have heard I am also hosting the event of which Whitley is a part of in Manchester. That's Manchester 16th this coming October for Awakening Expo. There are still some tickets left so if you can attend it'd be great to see you there. Link is in the description but for Whitley appearance on the podcast sure to be a popular one already getting some questions and for that send those over via private message or email asap popular guest frank milburn will then be joining me as september rolls on to discuss all the talking points from this year so far but with his particular background in british intelligence it's always a great take to hear from frank as to how he sees things unfolding right now even within the u.s political scene as regards to ufos immunity language the bills through congress calvin from recently and any other updates from a british point of view so get your questions over for frank always good to speak to him and obviously converse on line with frank as well then to finish september former cia and co-founder of to the stars jim semivan joins me for what is sure to be a stellar conversation jim is wonderful to listen to and talks openly about his life not only in the world of ufos but as an experiencer himself sure to be a very popular one please get your questions over asap ideally an email put jim semivan in the subject line and it means i'll have the best chance of seeing them because sometimes i miss them just depending what's in the subject line or they go into spam as well which i always try and check folks so sorry if i haven't got back to you and you have been in touch It's a huge month for guests there, as you can see, it's going to keep me very busy. As well as all of that, Dan will join me to record a review of Dorothy Isaac's documentary, a very popular one that's been requested by quite a few of you, Capturing the Light. This is one that's available on Amazon Prime, depending on the country you're in. Dorothy Isaac is an alien contactee with allegedly over 30,000 feet of film footage of alien craft, beings and experiences. An interesting one to have a look at, certainly. One I've not seen yet, but look forward to covering. I've seen bits and pieces of it and I've seen stuff online, but I look forward to seeing it in its entirety. Get your questions over or just your thoughts and opinions on that one, folks. I've recorded a few listener calls a few months back now and due to a few reasons, largely life getting in the way, I never got round to getting the rest recorded. So if you are one of those waiting on getting on the listener call-in show, get back in touch and we will record and get a new open line listener call-in show up very, very soon. Dahlia, I'll be getting back to you as you've waited very patiently thanks to those few who have already recorded and banked those calls a couple of months ago and to those who want to be on, just get in touch. It's really relaxed, really chilled it's not live i record it and then put it all together as one show and we can talk about anything ufo related that you want to again just to finish off thank you to all of those who support myself and dan whether it's on patreon apple spotify remember on spotify search that ufo podcast premium to find that link or on youtube or if you're using the sponsors links which are new sponsors are in the description below it's a great help and it really does help out myself and the podcast it all means a great deal in very tough times for everyone Uh, the main thing for me is you enjoy you listen you can share like and engage where possible engage with each other always remembering to do it respectfully and much like in the podcast discord channel if you disagree with someone that's fine just be respectful because life's too short for all the drama folks and you know i I tend to stay away from that 
As always, folks, thank you very much for listening. I look forward to a very busy September. And a final request, if you haven't yet, please remember on your chosen podcast platform, if you can leave us a review, five-star review and comment, that would be very much appreciated. Thanks for listening, folks. Remember, keep looking up. You never know what you might see. Consider your heart, consider time, consider your space, consider your lies, consider your life.